What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to do something a little bit different today, guys. Today we're out in Silver Ridge Peaks, but we're not hunting the elk. We're actually going to do a pronghorn hunt. I have not checked my pronghorn population since Silver Ridge Peaks got its full wipe, so I have no idea what is on my map. We're going to go out today. It is going to be a night hunt. They now drink at 1800, so I've got the time set to 1900. We're going to bring the Glock with us today, and the goal is going to be to try to take down a rare or a diamond pronghorn with the Glock. It'll be my first trophy with the Glock. So that is going to be the goal for this hunt and for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like on it, please. And thank you. Really, really appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and consider hitting that bell too to get notifications every time I go live and every time I upload content as well. But without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. All right, so I'm not actually entirely sure where the pronghorn are living in now, where they're drinking. Like, I think it's going to be, I think their home range is going to be roughly the same. I think they're still going to be down in the bottom right. Maybe they've made their way around a little bit to different parts of the map, but I'm going to stick to where they used to be and we'll go from there. So I'm going to check these lakes down the bottom right first and we'll see what we can find. Hopefully we're going to have a big pronghorn, maybe a diamond, maybe a rare. A rare would be cool. I would love to get another big, uh, either leucistic or albino, or even a piebald. The piebalds are really rare now as well. What's this? There we go. We got pronghorn. Ha ha ha. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. And there's more of them. Okay. So they're here at this lake. That's good. There's our first zone. Love to see it. We got to make sure we're getting a good look at them. No piebalds over there. No rares. Might be a little bit hard to see at night, especially for those piebalds. And that's our first zone. So we'll keep moving. There's a three in there as well. Oh, there's one right there, right in the grass. Almost didn't see it. I don't know if that guy's alone. That's kind of weird. I can't get a spot. Where is it? Right there. What are you? It's like a decent size pronghorn right there. Maybe a four? Oh, 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 we got these as well. There's a three and some females. So they're at these two lakes, so that's good. That's a good sign. He's a decent looking male. Like that's, that actually looks like it could be a really big male, to be honest. Oh, teleporting. That's a four. 90 to 105, is that what that said? 90 to 105? Okay, hang on a sec. <laughs> what is this? That's a big four. That's a really big four. I might even try to shoot this with the Devani, to be completely honest, because I don't know what the heck that is. That is quite the estimate. We're looking for 98 for diamond right down there. He's about 63 meters in front of me, but I cannot get a spot at all. And I'm obviously not going to take that shot with the Glock without a spotting outline because I can't, I don't even know which way this guy's facing right now. All right. I might even, I might have to just spook him out of there and then let him come back because this just isn't going to work. He's teleporting like mad in, inside there, which is making me nervous about taking a shot. Uh, but also I can't get a spotting outline with him in the reeds. So... Obviously with the Devani, I'm not gonna know where the heck I'm shooting and that's just not gonna work. So, like, I'm so close to him. I'm 30 away, he's right there. Wonder how close he would let me get being in those reeds. Imagine being this close <laughs> to an animal and not being able to spot it. That's pretty crazy. How close we are. Facing away, I, I, there's no way I can get along there. He just turned a little bit. I'm 13 meters away. Look, he's right in front of me. That is insane. Because he's in the reeds, he's not hes not detecting me being here. Like, he's letting me go, like, right up to him. 12 meters. And now let's pull this out and zero it for 25. I might be able to get it. Oh, he just teleported. I wonder if he'll actually let me get to the water. No way. can hear him. He's right there. Now, can I get a shot through here? Okay, I see you got his head here. I hear another something moving up there. Planes bison walking past. Okay, can I get a shot? Oh, he's kind of quartered away. I think I can get a lung shoot right there. <gasps> oh my gosh. I don't know if I got a good shot there. Should have been good. 
No organs, really. Wow. Interesting. Okay, we need to get a second shot in him. Shoot, 50 to 75. He's actually... Shoot, he's going down. He's actually gonna die from that eventually. No, we don't want that. Okay, he's right up here somewhere. Right there. He's hurting. He's going down. Oh, stop, stop. Now he's down. Jeez. <laughs> That's lucky. That's lucky he was going down. Now I'm so curious where that first shot hit. Yeah, he's a good looking pronghorn, man. Like he, I don't think he's a diamond, but he's a big four. All right, let's see what happened on that first shot. That one definitely got vitals. He's a gold 91.2. And the first shot, oh my gosh, almost got the neck. So we were just off there. Almost, almost brain shot, but almost got the neck just a little high and to the right. Very interesting. All right, let's keep this thing going. We're just getting started here. We gotta find more pronghorn. Whew. There's a big four, 84 to 99. We got more over there. Another big four, 81 to 96. Bunch of males here. Definitely gonna shoot that guy. All right, there he is. He's moving. He's leaving already, 2100. Okay, let's see what we can do here. That's our guy right there. Bunch more males. I wonder if there's any way that I can still do this. About a hundred out right there. Attentive. Oh boy, this is gonna be tough. I mean, I could try to do it from a hundred. I learn it will stop. I can get him to turn a little bit. Let's zero this in for 75. He's calm now. I don't want you calm. Nope, I don't want you to be calm. If I can get you to 75, I might be able to get a shot. Attentive, good. Alert, good, very nice. Okay, that felt pretty good. Went for the front facing shot. Oh, and he's down. Oh my gosh, I might have actually got a vital there. He was about 75 out, went for the front facing. And it looks like we might have made good there with it too. Because he went down pretty quick. Yep, vital, that's a vital. Okay, now what the heck is this guy? Big four. It looked a little bit bigger than the last guy. The last guy only scored 91.2, which is a ways off of Diamond. Diamond, you're looking for 98. All right, here he is. What do we got? Let's see here. His horns are in the ground. Maybe like a 95? 87. It's actually smaller than the last one. Managed to get the lung there just barely. We made it work. 73 out. It's our second big four of the day. Let's keep looking, see if we can find something bigger. Oh my gosh, there's a five. <laughs> Holy. What in the world? How big does it look? Oh boy. Okay. Now, the problem with this. Uh, those guys are definitely in the tall reeds over there. They're just not rendered in yet. Uh, it's not going to look really any different than that right there. So, this is going to be very, very tricky with the Glock. I would love to get it down with the Glock, though. Hopefully that's a diamond. 91 to 106. Hmm. How the heck should we do this? How the heck should we do this? He looks pretty big. He looks pretty tall. He looks like he might be a big one. He looks like a diamond to me. Uh, and I think he's the dark variation. That's pretty cool. Oh, man. This is going to be extremely difficult to do with the Glock. And unfortunately, there's no way to call them really like to take him with the Glock. There's no way to call him out of there. We don't have a lot of options, unfortunately, other than spooking him out, trying to get up on him, which is another way that we could do it. I mean, we could do that. We could spook him out and then sit and wait for him to come back and try to take him down that way with the Glock. I would love to get him down with the Glock. I really would. I think I'm going to spook him out. Okay, let's try... I might just shoot up in the air and then see if I can get a spot on him. Watch what direction he goes in. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. Okay, there they go. There they go. They're going that way. There they are. All right, so I've been tracking these guys for about 10, 15 minutes just through the woods. I'm just trying to get them into a clearing. I'm basically driving them through. 
just kind of spooking them over and over letting them flee until they'll kind of lead me into a clearing so I can see what I'm doing and see them and get a chance to kind of hunker down let them turn around and come back towards me is what I'm hoping for um, the five is in there this is his track he's in there with them this is a decent spot I can kind of see I wonder if they might turn around ah look at this <laughs> hang on that looks like it might just be a rest zone or a feed zone. Now, where is our guy? Where is he? Warning call. Hang on. Ma uh, mail. Mail warning call. Right in front of me. And is good as long as I'm quiet. That's probably him right there. That's him right there. Okay, 100 out. Nervous. I'm just going to not make any noise here. Not close enough for a shot yet. All right, are they staying here or are they going? That one female was laying down. So it looked like this is where they were hanging out. But now they're on the move. Okay, I think they're just shifting a little bit. I think I stirred him up. I think he's just moving over. Yeah, he's right there. All right, perfect, rest zone. Let's go, that's what we needed. All right, 110 out. Let's see how close we can get. I want to get to at least 75 for the shot. If I can get to within 50, even better. Got more pronghorn to my right. But he is content and that's all I care about. 105. All right, I'm gonna shift a little bit left. Our wind is perfect. All right, that's about 60 right there. I don't think we're gonna get much closer than that. How does that feel? I'm good with that, I think. Make sure there's nothing in the way. We've got a clear shot. All right, let's try it here. That should be good. Should be good. He is down. He's right there. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's make sure we got vital blood here. Hopefully that's a diamond. That would be amazing. Did we get vital blood? We did. We did get vital blood. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Hopefully that's a diamond. That would be too awesome. First diamond with the Glock, if it is a diamond. And here he is. He looks pretty giant. I feel like that's got to be a diamond. He's got huge horns going on. Maybe 100 plus. Nice. Look at the tip to tip. My gosh. Super wide. That is a nice one. Hopefully 100 plus. I'm going to say 10. Oh, I'm going to be really ambitious. I'm going to say 102.2. 102.2 on the score. Let's go. 102.3. 102.03. So basically 102 even there. That's a diamond. Let's go. First diamond with the Glock. Really nice one. Look how wide that tip to tip is. That's wild. Very cool. A 102. That's a big diamond. That's a big diamond pronghorn. Love to see it. First diamond with the Glock. Perfect shot right through the lung. And we take those, man. Let's taxi that. Let's go. And uh, that's going to do it for this video, you guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'm so happy that we actually managed to find a level 5 and it made diamond with the Glock. It's exactly how I wanted this to go. So that's very cool. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like if you did. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're on the road to 40,000 subscribers. Thank you guys very much. And I will see you guys, as always, in the next one.